Castaway begins with getting to know Chuck Noland, a very important leader in the FedEx company. He's dedicated to his job and the values of the company. He's also very generous and personable to the delivery boy and his co-workers. His professional relationships are very important to him. Next, we see he is in a romantic relationship with Kelly, who is part of the family that founded FedEx. All his photos are either of her or them together, none of his childhood. He has completely ingratiated himself into her family, and he proposes to Kelly, even though she is not fully over a divorce. At the end, when Chuck is rescued, he has zero family members meet him. Nobody directly related to him is ever mentioned. Then, when Kelly even calls him the love of her life, he says he loves her but doesn't call her the love of his life. Almost at the end, when he needed to have a heart-to-heart -heart with someone, he talked to his co-worker. I think Chuck grew up poor and without any family. FedEx became his family and he completely invested himself into his job and the people he worked with. I think he did love Kelly, but he wouldn't have proposed to her if she wasn't part of the family. He wasn't heartless, he just saw his personal and professional life as the same and succeeding in both meant marrying Kelly. After all he went through on the island, he learned to separate himself from his job and began slowly to live for himself.